Hi guys, welcome to Stone Cold Art Rock Class. We're gonna have so much fun today. My name is Elaine Olay, as you can see by that. And this is... I'm Mary Stanley. As you can see by that. And I bribed Mary into coming today because I don't like doing classes without her anymore. She's way too much fun, right Mary? We have a good time. Exactly. Where's my yep? Yep. Yep. Okay, so today, we are going to create some fun things just using rocks, pebbles, stones, things you find out in nature. I can't speak for Mary, but whenever I'm out on a walk on the beach or if I'm out in the country walking on a nice path that has, happens to have pebbles or rocks, I have to pick them up. It's a problem. I'm trying to get help for it. So you collect them. So I've got probably 600 pounds of stones and rocks <laughs> <laughs> at home. So I was threatened to start getting rid of them. So what I'm doing is we're going to create some cool art projects. And you see these all over the internet. I mean, these are not new, but you can have some fun at home with this. All you need is some random size rocks and some paints if you want to paint them. And some glue. And depending on what you're going to build, if you're going to put your rocks on a board or on something like that crab, you can just use a regular tacky glue. But if you're going to create a critter like this turtle, which is right below the crab, um, I used a hot glue gun so that it would immediately adhere and stay there so I could lift them and move them around. And then if you want to make one of the cactus rock pots, which Mary will hold up and look at that. So that's just random size rocks, hot glue gun together, and then placed into a pot so you have a cactus garden that needs zero attention. Maybe some dusting every now and again, but that's all. So if you want to do something like that, you just need to get yourself a pot to put them in. So, Mary Mary. How do we get started? We have a table full of random rockage. You might think it's random, but it's forethought random rockage. So we've got some different ideas we're gonna do with you guys today. And then when you finish with this class, you can go home and do whatever you want with them. Have big fun. So Mary doesn't know it yet, but I'm gonna test her skills in rock design. Excellent. Are you ready, Mary? Yeah. Okay. So we have a little pile of, I can't see them so well. They're green yeah, just... rocks over here that were pre-painted. They didn't come that color. So I painted them green because I wanted to create a creature. So we're going to see if Mary... Do you want me to put it on anything? Yeah, let's okay. set it on here for now so they can maybe see it better. Yeah, that might be able to see better. Okay. So, so what am I doing? The thinking was to create a creature with this. And I think Mary kind of knows what creature I was going for. Am I building it right now? I think you are. Okay, I think. I think you are. Maybe. It's happening. It's happening. Yeah. Ta-da! Can you see it? It's a frogger. Yeah. And there's nothing more fun than having little rock creatures like frogs and ladybugs and turtles in your yard, out in your garden. They're just so much fun. Yeah, he's cute. And they make you smile every time you look at them. I like him. Boom, frog. How long did that take? Uh, five seconds. Good girl. All right, so let's get rid of that frog now. Okay. Bye, frogger. Okay, so. Mary is going to tell you all about this creature. Uh, uh, where am I? Where am I going? Over here. Right there. <laughs> Sorry, people. I'm new to television. So this is just basically a stack of rocks by size, and I just like them because they're cool, and you see them everywhere. There's artists that create these out in the world, and it's called a... I think, I believe it's called a Karen. A Karen. And I just saw something on YouTube where this guy travels the world and he loves the beaches. So he uses shells and rocks and things that he finds at the beaches and just creates. It's also similar to a mandala as well. Mm -hmm. Formations using rocks and shells and leaves and anything in nature that you can find. It's just fun. And if you get brave, you can get bigger ones and create a, like a sculpture in your yard. But I use it for a little paperweight. Love him. Her. Karen. Okay, and then you saw Mr. Frogger already, or Mr. Turtler. I'm going to get this dug on it. This was a pretty easy one, just basically a one big flat rock, and then I painted his little designs on there. So you can make a little family of garden creatures. Kids love those, too, so you can get the kids involved in this as well. Now, Mary. I like this one. Did you show this? I didn't show that one. Okay, you well, want we're going to show this up. Okay. Because this not only uses, it looks like, I see shells on there as well. 
Oh, you're good. So that has shells. These little claws, they are shells. They are shells. I shells cheated. and rocks. Yep. That's super cute. That, driftwood, I That was it. one beach trip. I found the driftwood and yep. all the stuff on the same day and just thought, hmm, and made a crab. That's neat. So, yeah, he's kind of fun, too. Um, and then we kind of were going to create a little little design today with you guys to show you just how we go about doing it. And one of the things that I love um, is puppy paws. I love puppy paws. We know you love puppies. I love puppy paws. So we have piles of rocks here. Uh-oh, that one's full. We have piles of rocks here that we're going to create feet, footprints. And if you go online and you Google rock footprints, it'll show you all kinds of cool designs. So we're going to make some today. Mary is going to take that pile of rocks. Okay. <laughs> and then I have one here already almost set up. Big toe. So you're just going to find a rock that is sort of the shape of a kind of a foot. And put the heel, the skinny part down, and then just attach the little toes to it. And I just love footprints. They just make me happy. That's adorable, Mary. I did good, didn't I? You did good. So let's do this. Let's create a path of footprints up this board. But we, because we love the puppy paws, are going to add some puppy prints too. Like this. So when you, are we adhering it to the wood? Let's do it. Okay. And we use hot glue? We can use the weld bond glue. Or it's just bond. a sticky glue that dries okay. clear. You want to make sure um, you get something that dries clear so that you don't, aren't distracted by it. Give it a whack. Give it a whack. Just give it a, did you open it? Yes. Oh, yeah, oh there it is. It. There good. we go. Okay. Okay. So let's design it first, Mayor. So okay. we make sure we like what we've got. I love that. All right. Put so them on where there. do you want them? Here? Yep. Are we going to like? Yeah. Okay. Meandering Perfect. feet. Is that rain? I think it is. Oh, my. So do we want human foot, human foot, human foot with puppy feet following next sure. to it? Sure. Okay. Make another foot. I was doing a puppy. Okay, you do puppy. Well, I'll make another foot here. Mm -hmm. I forgot we have to sing while we do this, so there's no, you know, downtime. I don't know if that looks like a puppy. How's that? That look. looks pretty puppyish. Okay. I lost the toe. There we go. All right, so we have human feet, puppy, puppy feet. I'm gonna turn him this way a little bit so he looks like he's actually walking. Oh, I, I might like have to this. keep this, Mary. I don't think this one. You're going to have to hang it behind I'm gonna, I'm your desk. To, I'm going to have to keep this bad boy. There's another foot here. There's another puppy for you. Is that right? That's right to me. How are we doing? Are we still there? Okay, good. All right. I'm going to lose him. I'm going to lose him. Pinky. What you're going and these for? guys are walking alone. Look! Yay! Is it supposed to be four or five? Or does it matter? Puppies have four, humans have five, Mary. Okay, well, we had an extra one on there. <laughs> well, that, that human off. has six. There. Oh! Let's see if we can turn it without messing them up. That is cute. And then you have a cute little placard that you can hang. And you can even, if you're brave, you can get like a hook and put it on the bottom of there and hang your puppy's leash on it so you know that it's time to walk. That's I know, good. I know, I That's love it. That's cute. So that, I mean, it takes no time. And this was just a piece of somebody's fence that they cut up for us because they know we love to use repurposed wood. So you can put it on anything. We also have a piece of slate, <gasps> roof slate Ooh, over there. I love this. And you can put them on that as well. On that one so we can do. this used to be an actual shingle? Yes. Yes. Right? I love it. And I grabbed a bunch of stones to make. Oh. What are we making? Flower. Oh, you're so smart. Not really. With a stem. How's that? I mean, come on, people. Look at that. That's adorable. And you can even put good. your little frog there or something, or make ladybugs or whatever. You can put anything on there. And these are cool because they have little holes in them from where they were attached to the roof, so you can hang it up. You Put some even... leather through here, yep. tie a knot, yep. hang it up. You can even do your house numbers on there if you wanted to. So there's lots of things you can do with this. This is so much fun. So, Mary, I know. What's next? What are we doing? I know. 
We're gonna do, we're gonna paint a couple of cacti so people can kind of see what we're talking about. Got it. We'll put that there. So when we made the cactus pot, we just pretty much started by painting rocks the green. Okay. So that we had the right background color for them. And then there's, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with cacti or if you like them, but there's a lot of different patterns on them and you can use any kind of pattern you want on these or you can create your own cactus pattern. There's no law that says you can't. So Mary's gonna squirt us a little bit of white paint. You wanna be light green, dark green? Dark green? Okay. I'll be light green. I'm gonna give him an arm. I'm gonna make him like that. Now I'm gonna make him like that. Wait. Like that. Do we have red or a flower at the top? Or is this a flower? We well, can if you want. You can paint that dude yeah. and add a little burnt onto the top of him like that. Okay. That's a pretty one. I like him. So I we both have these oh, very itty bitty, <coughs> tiny itty bitty witty paint brushes. So I So okay. here's where it gets design, interesting, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna do. do did you, did you say green as well? Light green. Do you want light green? Sure. Or dark green? Sure. I'm easy. I'm just gonna do some okay. lines. I'm gonna do some lines too. Do it. Ooh, that was a fat line. That's okay. There's really no wrong way to do this. Whatever makes you happy. Right, Mayor? Yep. Yep. All right. And then I failed to bring water. But that's okay. We don't need it. Then when I'm doing dots, sometimes I'll use the um, back side of the paintbrush because it makes nice clean dots. Oh, that's a good trick. Oh, no. And then I'll just kind of burp. I didn't know burp, that one. Burp, burp. And you have to do the sound effects too. Oh, no. We're good. Thanks, sir. Our cameraman is so good, he's handing he us water to rinse our brushes. I tell you what, I'm gonna get it. We got a raise in the works for you, pal. <laughs> and I'm gonna do some more dots, dots, dots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How you doing, Mary? I'm good. You good? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dots. I'm doing lines. I'm all about the dots. You do it. You do it, girl. There's a paper towel for you. All right. And then, hey, you know what? What? I need the dark green. I lied to you. I'm <laughs> scared. I'm used to getting <laughs> squirted. Squirt. Squirted. Squirted. All right. We're just going to go like this. I don't know if this is right, but this, is, this is what I'm doing. You do you, boo. You know what? It's all about having fun, right? Yep. I'm just making little lineages coming out of my dotages. Like so. This is a special Virginia city cactus. You can find it in the north side of Richmond. Uh, 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 uh. So you see what we're talking about. You just kind of get in there and just do, do you and just have fun with it. I'm just making lines, you know what? He's cute. Just get in there. And then basically you're if you want to be um, two sided, uh, you can just wait till it dries, flip it, do the other side. Then I would do this rock as well, and then just connect them together with hot glue. That's what all these guys are connected onto with hot glue. And then once you get enough together that you like, you just plant them in your pot. I don't know if that's that looks beautiful, like. Mayor. I don't know about that. So wait, what do we do with the top? You, you can do the same pattern on top, or you and can do And then that goes on the, that's mm -hmm. the bloom. And that's his bloom. Gotcha. How much fun is that? I like it. Are we so you can have a cactus making party at your house. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You get all your friends together, you put your face masks on, and you just pass out the rocks and make cacti. Is that not awesome? I love it. I do too. I think this thing is super cute. I mean, oh look God. at this. It has personality. It's adorable. And you know what? what? Put it in your windowsill, and it will never die. Ever. Don't even have to water it. Nope. Love it. Mm -hmm. And then this is a good gift to give who complain of killing plants. You just hand <laughs> them this. Oh, thank I you. I love it. Oh, you're so sweet. It's perfect. But then if you're really feeling like wild and wacky, you can get some big rocks. 
big bouldery rocks and you can get even bigger ones than this at some of the uh, landscape yards actually I went to a local landscape yard I, I can't say the name of it can I they're lovely um, and you drive in there and they weigh your car and then you drive around to the rock yard and you load it up and I got like probably 30 of this <clears throat> this size rock in my car and guess how much it cost me good 12 bucks no Four ninety-five. Oh my goodness! That's I know. Good. That's so really good. You can make an entire monster rock garden at that price. So that's why I have so much fun doing this stuff because it's inexpensive. It's easy. There's no wrong. You can put them in your garden outside. If you make these big ones, that's a that's a good element, and you don't have to take care of it. People will think, "Wow." Yeah, I know. Nice. That's a good idea. Where, how'd you grow that? Mm -hmm. Love that. So anyway. That's basically what we're talking about here, people. It's easy, it's cheap, or inexpensive, rather, mm -hmm. sorry. It's fun. It's fun, and they make great gifts. And hopefully you guys will try this at home. And if you have any questions, you can surely contact us back. And we hope that you will subscribe to our new YouTube channel with Henrico Rec and Parks, or go on our webpage so you can see what more classes are going to be coming up and what else you can come play with us. Yep, follow us on also Instagram and Facebook. And Check Twitter. us out. And Twitter. All yep. those. Yep. We're everywhere. So come play with us. We're having fun. That's all we have for now, guys. Bye. Have a swell one.